welcome back. We're here to channel the energy for the karmic third party, and already it is looking pretty interesting. Now, as we do move through this month, I always didn't know this would be a transitional period, and for some reason I was really picking this as uh, a lot of karmic ties actually kind of separating. Now, that's not to say all they are going to end this right away. I do see the portal happening, A, because between now and the end of the year, we do have Pluto and Capricorn. B, Mars, C, <coughs> the eclipse, and then the moon in Aries. So this month was really set for marriages, contracts, partnerships to all be up in review. And, and even coming through in their cards, I physically can see the angst, the revelation, um, you know, how did I get myself into this mess? That's kind of kind of energy we see coming through. Now, they're going through a very dark time at the moment. This can be loosening, you know, the darkness. And, and this can be anything down to fear. Relax the holds of the darkness and be at cause. This can be something of, um, how do I explain it? This, this can be a time that, you know, wounds run deep. How they're feeling, holding it in, holding it in, feeling the vibration, seeing things on the news, going into the dynamic and trying to make intimate connections work. If something of a karmic nature has been, if I did say between now and next year, it would be extremely difficult. A is because we will have a lot of planets transitioning into Aries, which is the house itself. What does that mean? Only divine masculines collectively will become more assertive. Okay, more driven, more, I don't know, could it be more self-centered? It can, but again, Neptune will be there, so hopefully that will be in positive ways. But let's look at it in a very basic way. This is the house of self, which means personal responsibility. Saturn will move there next year, right? So be it they are feeling the cracks now. It's only going to intensify if alignment is not there. These individuals are looking to the past position and they're like, how the heck did I attract this? How do I manifest something better? And how do I manifest, how did I manifest this? Where did my power go to that I thought I had? No need to fear us in the heart, but this person is very worried. They're very concerned. They're concerned about the future. They're concerned about the connection. And they don't know what to do. They, they are trying to avoid an ending. Even knowing, you know, nine times out of ten, an ending has occurred before it's spoken. An ending has occurred before it's spoken. I think all of us can relate. It could be for their various levels. It's a little bit like leaving, like being in a very toxic situation and then cutting the cords and then we can say, okay, we don't tune into that anymore. That would be a more psychological way of handling it even though i don't know if that would be healthy because there's lies and then we go into them why do i feel this way still why am i angry mad sad because we have the seven stages of feeling this person is trying to avoid this it, yet they're living a vibration that feels very ick it's not a good feeling i'm trying to avoid disaster i'm trying to avoid an ending it's going to somehow directly impact me this solution be it past or present Wherever they're at, at this point in time, the, the energy of the moon is deeply impacting them. Their intuition is screaming at them. Home and family in the direct environment, they are feeling as though, um, how would I explain it? It can't be hidden. It can't be avoided. Okay, there. <clears throat> Sometimes we don't know that we have power. Sometimes we don't know in some shape or form the problem is the solution. This person could be unaware. It's almost like making the same cake and you, maybe you, you know, and I'm, science is interesting. So is the science of food, you know, making cat and apples cake. For instance, um, I use cake as an analogy. This individual here is trying to do something different, not doing it the same. Okay, we're all mad here. Everyone is a little different. They 
feel that at the moment that they're behind the patterns, everything they're trying to achieve, they think it's quite rational and logical. Unbeknownst to them, if they're living in a vibration that feels very unsettling, that mountain's only going to get bigger. I hope I have articulated that in such a fashion that you understand the message that's trying to land. In their mind, they're like, it's not that bad, but really the vibration is very heavy. They don't want to hear it. They don't know what to say. They don't know what to do. But a mountain is here. You know you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. Now, going in my angel's face trend is not cautious. Why? It's because this person does not listen to the re reason. Now, how do we get signs? We get them in a myriad of ways. It can be the near miss. It could be a physical. It could be the intuition, a near miss, um, and then the simulation. And generally, it will go in threes. Ever notice that? You, you hit your toe three times, yet you would cut it. Things happen in threes. This person, they are not being transparent. They are not being direct. And I do think energies are about to boil. Let's get into clarifying. What do we need to know? Okay, what is this situation? Um, that is on their mind at the moment and, and playing over in their heads. What's really bugging them? Okay, the connection. Losing the connection, the connection, sacrifices made. Okay, why why how are they looking at the past? How they perceive connections. It hasn't equaled what they thought it did. Again, a perception of a connection is different for every individual. For some, we could say we're in a connection for love, but it actually could be to do with money. For some, it could be to do with the way the person makes you feel. They are feeling the journey has come to the end. They do feel things are falling down around them. Their, their changed emotions also are signified here. But these changed emotions, it's interesting. It's almost like they're, they're coming as a surprise to them. One minute very hot, one minute very cold, one minute very aloof, one minute very triggered. Okay. Even though they, it's, somebody's saying to them, look, this can't be repaired. This is what it is. This is where it stands. Look, we've tried not happy two's company three to crowd for some of them they could actually be speaking about what direction they want to go in and it can be a bit of a surprise <clears throat> for some they can be pulling the house or family car but I, yeah it's weird it's like no no Some of them are hiding this from other individuals around them. Like they could be suffering in this silence and this dynamic. Uh, making out that they can achieve everything. But again, I don't feel this is happening. You know, it, this is coming to an end. We do have the death card as the outcome card. And, you know, when, when we're saying that, this is to do with an ending. You know, whatever they're trying to avoid here, you know, the second row, we have the death card, but it's in reverse, which is an avoidance of that. So what do we mean by death? It's like an ending of a circumstance, something coming to a close. We directly can take our power to address it. It can be, look, this can't keep going on. This isn't working. We need to transform. So that is is the, the Plutonian energy, the transformation. Let's drag things up. Let's transform it. Let's change it so it can be better. Let's get rid of the white hands. All the building's going to fall down. Now, we come to the outcome card and we have, you know, the number 10, it breaks down to a 10, which, again, is like the connection. And this person's not being transparent. Uh, but regardless, this is, even if they can't admit it to themselves and they know that they can't say anything, they can't do anything, it's out of their control, it comes to an end regardless. Now, endings can in the long run be positive. 
We may just not see it like that at a point in time. But this can be uh, a way it ends may not be as great as it could have been. We will check in with this energy next week. They do fluctuate. Come through and take a look and we will see how this energy is transforming. If you do want next week's content, you can come through to our YouTube membership and see it now. Otherwise, I will see you on the other side.